has an airline ever lost your luggage? Have you ever spent an unholy amount of time in an airport waiting for your luggage to come off the carousel? Or are you just so neurotic that you'd rather be the only one touching your stuff? Well, if you said yes to any of those, I have a solution for you. Hi everybody, welcome to Messy Mundo. My name is Isa and this is my travel show where I talk about all your different travel questions, my experiences, um, basically just talk about the world in general. I am by no means a travel expert. I love to travel. I do it often. Um, so I consider myself more of an enthusiast, if anything. Um, and I'm just here to share with you what has worked for me, what I love about travel, and I just want to create a community and an experience that we can all enjoy together. Um, just talk about love in the world and all the cool things it has in it. But today we're going to be talking about packing for a 10 day trip in a carry-on. Yay! This is my favorite method of traveling because um, I hate waiting for my stuff. I'd rather just keep it on me, I know where it is at all times. Um, and it just makes, you know, going through an airport so much easier, especially when you have less stuff as well. Um, so this is going to be a little bit specific. Um, I'm going to say it's going to be like 10 days for Europe or North America. In the future, we'll do something else. Three weeks in Asia, 10 months in Alaska, how to pack for that. Um, but I felt like today we'll just start with a little one that's a little bit more basic. So I have five rules to live by when you are packing in a carry-on. And this is before I even get to showing you what to pack. Here are some things to keep in mind always. Rule number one, always be rolling. I can't stress this enough. Um, I'm sure a lot of other videos say this, but this will literally save you so much time. Take whatever you have, whatever you're bringing, fold it in half, roll it, sleeping bag style, up into a tiny little compact ball and throw that into your suitcase. Um, this will save you so much room. Honestly, I don't know why it saves you so much room because you think like, oh, it's thicker now. It's going to take up more space. But for some reason, like layering clothes is like the worst idea ever. So roll those babies up and you will save yourself so much space for other things that are important. Rule number two, cut the extras. Listen, honey, you're not going to be wearing that tiny little skirt that you wear here every single day in the middle of winter when you're walking up and down the street, okay? It's just not going to work. You're gonna, your legs are going to be cold. You're gonna, your thighs are going to be touching and chafing, and you're not going to be happy. So leave it at home. Rule number three, think small. I say think small, I mean cut down on the bigger items that you usually bring. So like shampoo, conditioner, get travel sizes. They're little tiny things. Or even if you don't want to get a travel size, buy reusable bottles that you can fill your lotion, your shampoo, your conditioner, like any sort of liquid into those and throw those. Especially if you're packing in a carry-on, you're going to have to be under three ounces, I think is the rule. Um, so you want to make sure that all of that is regulation size and you're not going to get in any sort of trouble for that. Um, it's real easy to get them, but we're be basic. This is my only time in my life that I will give everybody permission to do that. Be basic. Bring things that can be mixed and matched and you can create tons of new outfits with really quite easily. Um, I'm a very basic dresser myself. I like plain tank tops, plain t-shirts, uh, jeans that kind of, uh, jeans are basic anyway. And I like neutral colors. So that stuff can be mixed and matched super easily if you um, only bring in a certain color palette. So I like grays, I like blues, I like black obviously, and I like red. Um, and those things really go together really well. Basics can also be dressed up and down. If you have a plain t-shirt, you can wear that tucked into a pair of high-waisted pants and you can go on a night out or you can wear it outside your shirt with some cut-up jeans and you're ready to walk around for the day. So um, I love basics because they make life so much easier and you don't have to think about your outfit so much beforehand. Rule number five is share. I don't think a lot of people think about, but you usually go on trips with your friends. I know some of us go alone, which is totally fine, but if you're going with a friend or a family member or somebody else, 
you can usually share clothes. So if you are bored of your options, and trust me, I am an option girl. I'm a little bit bougie and I like to take a lot of pictures, so I need my look to be switched up a lot. Uh, I share with my friends. You know, if I have my flannel that doesn't work for me and I'm like, I don't, really don't want to wear this, I give it to my friend and she gives me her sweater and I have a whole new look for the day. And that goes for toiletries too. Like somebody can bring soap and another person can bring the shampoo and another person can bring the toothpaste. Um, I've even shared deodorant, which maybe is gross, but I don't really care. Um, you can always share and it makes things a lot easier and your suitcase a lot lighter. Now I'm going to show you guys what I've packed for a 10 day vacation and how it all fits into a tiny little suitcase and it is so easy. You guys are going to love it. for watching my video guys I had a great time making it and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it please comment down below and tell me other tips you have about packing in a carry-on or other travel tips you might have in general because I want to know them um, I need to know I'm always going somewhere remember to tune in next week guys I'm gonna be posting my vlogs from my recent trip to Iceland and Denmark so like and subscribe if you want to see those and I will see you guys in the next one bye bye